Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is Akata, your Galactic Astrologer. Today, I would like to talk about the Wood Dragon Chinese New Year, which is on the 10th of February. And I would also like to compare with the Draco constellation in Galactic Astrology to see the differences between the Western and Eastern culture regarding dragon mythology. As Pluto moved from Capricorn, a corporate materialistic sign, to Aquarius, which is about mass consciousness and technology. And in our Chinese calendar, we, we move from the rapid year, which signifies move out and about in the world, to dragon about leadership, about personal empowerment, and recharging our qi, our energy, personal energy as well. In our Chinese culture, we often refer ourselves as the descendant of dragon. Just by this statement alone, we can see how much reference we have for dragon in our upbringing and culture. Meanwhile, in Western culture, there's more perplexities towards dragons. Very often is depicted as negatives, the slaying of the dragon. But I do see that many of us is awakening with our connection with dragon energies. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. The Chinese dragons are revered and considered auspicious symbols. They are typically depicted as long, serpentine creatures with four legs and the ability to fly. They are generally seen as benevolent and associated with good fortune, prosperity, and protection. In Chinese mythology, dragons are often linked to specific elements as water, earth, wood, metal, and fire. Each element association may influence the dragon's perceived characteristics. In Chinese dragon myth, shape-shifting is a common motive, changing their physical appearance, which makes their personalities with transformation and magical powers. Chinese culture incorporates dragons always in a positive manner, as being magnanimous and often very knowledgeable. Dragon is often associated with business prosperity, bountiful harvest, good health and protection. Historically, dragons has been associated with the emperor and imperial power. Emperors considered themselves as descendants of dragons, and the dragon was an important symbol of imperial authority and strength. They are linked to the cyclical nature of life, including the changing of seasons and the renewal of life. This ties in with their association with water, as water is seen as a symbol of constant change. In Chinese astrology, each animal sign is associated with specific characteristics and traits, and the transition between this sign is believed to influence the energy and dynamics of the year. As we move into 2024, the year of the dragon, the mystical dragon rises and recharges our chi. The dragon represents rising the yang chi and fast-growing life energy. This expanding chi fuels our first life cycle and signals a time 
for us to broaden our horizons, bringing harmony and balance to the environment. The wood green dragon symbolizes transformative energies, a period of profound change and potential for personal growth. This involves self-reflection, letting go of old patterns, and adopting a mindset conductive to positive change. Activating our consciousness to become more aware and mindful, tapping into a deeper understanding of oneself and the world. The dragon's influence is encouraging us to harness our internal power for personal and collective advancement, which in essence is so similar with Pluto in Aquarius. The year of dragon is seen as a time of powerful change and renewal, offering opportunities for a significant metamorphosis and embrace inner strength and potential. The dragon emerges on the February the 4th and celebrates beginning on February the 10th each year. Chinese cosmology consists of three aspects, one of the twelve Chinese zodiac animals, one of the five elements, and either yin or yang. These three aspects provide information about the energetic of the year and contribute to guiding a person in making life-affirming choices. This year, is represented by wood setting on top of earth. Dragon represents the month of April, the third month of spring, a very enchanting time in nature with all the transformations happening. It depicts the time between spring and summer in which the dragon serves as a bridge between seasons by supplying support and nourishment. This is a metaphor for providing the new chapter of life with substance. Energy is reaching a tipping point and getting ready to break out. The need to be mindful of your actions and decisions to contain your power Tune into the force and spirit of the present moment, making good choices for the future during a crucial time or situation, making 2024 a great time to make an important decision. In Western culture, dragons are often thought of as fire-breathing manners that attack humans. However, they are considered auspicious in Chinese shamanism. They symbolize connection, transformation, freedom, and the universal way. The dragon is primarily associated with the young earth element. The earth aspect of the dragon accentuates its connection with the digestive system which can be affected by emotionality, especially anger or frustration. These emotions relate to wood and since this is a wood dragon year, there can be more irritation and aggression. The green dragon implores us to continue the action-oriented behavior of the previous two years. This includes weighing all the possibilities and making informed, mindful decisions to avoid getting caught in a funk which can lead to argument, self-sabotage, 
and in some extreme cases, self-harm. The organs associated with the wood element are the liver and gallbladder. The yang qi is associated with the father figure, which plays the role of encouragement and installing a belief in oneself to go out into the world confidently. Thus the dragon, a young animal, which is already driven to soar, has even more momentum to go forth and shine. It is about moving forward and transitioning from teenage to adult. The dragon brings a lot of passion and relationships go to the next level. Work on being very clear and purposeful with decision-making and take time to ponder before committing to a relationship. You may want to check out your Venus in your natal and transit chart of how it may align with the dragon energy as well. The earthly nature of the year brings people together and support cohabitation. Be aware of tendencies toward irritation, anger, and quell this with compassionate speech and actions. A healthy dragon provides a strong sense of presence, stability, and acceptance which produce a strong belief in oneself. Universal Qi continues to expand, and the wood nature of the year challenges our, our ability to stay calm and not react. This increasing momentum can go into two directions, one in favor of seeking dominance and control over others, the other in honoring all beings and supporting the greater good. The choice is yours. The powerful energy from last few years, this year and next year, culminates in 2026, the year of the young fire horse, which can be either explosive or a bomb of creativity. The combination makes this year of the wood dragon full of energy and drive. The dream of changing the world and are good at coming up with innovative ideas and implementing them. This is a year. It will be good to build a solid foundation for something new with long-term potential. So after this Chinese New Year Dragon Energy and Mythology, I would like to share with you my personal experience of my connection with Dragon before we go into details of the Draco constellation. The first time I ever visioned a dragon, it was during one of my past life. And I saw this girl, she had a rope under her neck and she was being dragged into a castle and burned alive. With her death, and the dragon threw away back to her mystical realm. The fact that I saw this past life, and he is coming back to make this connection with me once again. And um, it took me quite a long time to align with his energy even though I was already channeling with Ascended Master and I find to the connection with Dragon, it took extra effort to understand and um, to align my energy with him so that we can fly together in this planet and also in outer space. And it was three years ago. By the end of 2023, I was visited by another dragon. It was in gold color, and I believe 
he was one of the ascended master. And I think his purpose to come into my vision this time is to guide me to chant not only fly with dragon, I think dragon is my spiritual guide, but to transform myself into a dragon. And he was there doing my long meditation, guiding me patiently, step by step, into this transformation. One thing in particular I would like to say is, if we think of the dragon breath or the dragon fire, very often we can imagine it, it's through our solar plexus. But this time he showed me actually, there is one tiny little flame down at the sacral, the womb of a woman. And he was showing me to keep this flame as tiny as it is, but always, always lighting, always alive. And he told me that through this flame is the channel of all creation. Through this, everything is possible. I am very honored by his teaching and to have this opportunity to see myself transforming into a dragon myself. And now let's look at the dragon constellation. Thank you. Before I delve into the draconian starseed trade, I would like to stress that it is within our limited understanding of how one soul journey evolves. There are moments our soul choose purposely to live through certain life experience, maybe to gain knowledge, maybe to be of assistance to those unfortunate, maybe we were the victims in the dragon constellation. It is hard to judge just by looking at a singular star system where one could come from. When it is well received to be Pleiadians or Arcturian star seed, we shouldn't judge harshly or have resentment to those choose otherwise. I believe we should always look at our soul journey from a higher octave to see how one evolved through time and space. Above all, we at star seed, it is one of our mission to be here to integrate the polarity and duality, to be as one. In various mythologies in Western culture, dragons or draconian beings are often portrayed as antagonistic or malevolent creatures. However, there are many instances where dragons or dragon-like beings are portrayed as wise, benevolent, or even neutral entities. As I have just presented with the dragon in Chinese mythology and Chinese astrology, where dragons hold significant positions. Draco is a constellation in the far northern sky. Its name is Latin for dragon. It was one of the 48 constellations listed by the 2nd century Greek astronomer Ptolemy and remains one of the 88 modern constellations today. The north pole of the ecliptic is in Drago. Draco is circumpolar from northern latitude, meaning that it never set and can be seen at any time of the year. The name of the western constellation in modern Chinese is Tianlong Zhou, meaning the heaven dragon constellation. The Egyptian pyramids were designed to have one sign facing north, with an entrance passage geometrically aligned it so that Tuban, as one of the main fixed stars, would be visible at night. Due to the effect 
of possessions. It will again be the poster around year 21,000. The traditional name of Dra Alpha Draconis Tuban means head of the serpent. Draco was identified with several different dragons in Greek mythology. One of the gigantes who battled in Olympian gold for 10 years before the goddess Athena killed it and tossed into the sky upon his defeat. As Athena threw the dragon, it became twisted on itself and froze at the cold north celestial pole before it could right itself. Another mythology with Draco coiled around the sky's north pole is the celestial dragon, known to the Greek as Dracon. Legend has it that this is the dragon slain by Heracles during one of his labors. And in the sky, the dragon is depicted with one foot of Heracles planted firmly upon its head. The dragon, named Ladon, guarded the precious tree on which grow the golden apples. Hera has been given the golden apple tree as a wedding present when she married Zeus. She was so delighted with it that she planted it in her garden on the slopes of Mount Atlas and set the Hesperides, daughter of Atlas, to guard it. Today, dragon or draconian energies are mainly divided into two categories. One is directly related to the reptilian, the dark force, mainly connected to the grace with malevolent agenda, abductions, and all sorts of negative involvement with their experimentations. Reptilians from the Draco system is manipulated and deceiving by nature. These reptilians are so advanced that, like Arturians, they have surpassed the physical limitations of their material bodies. They often have features that are associated with the reptiles or dragons. This includes scales, slitted eyes, and claws. They may also have horns, wings, or a tail. However, on Earth, as a draconian incarnate, there are a few general features that may be associated with them. There are many sources and information available online where you can search and understand how the reptilians overlords and elite are enslaving the human race with manipulations, control, brainwashing, and changing history, religions into their narratives. It is not my purpose here to discuss it in details. It is up to each of us to find truth and understand human history the best we can, so that we can be an active participant in assisting the shift of consciousness in today's world into the next paradigm. After saying that, I would like to bring us into another category where I feel the dragons as ancient beings. They have the knowledge and the know-how and the willingness and service and the level of unconditional love to come and work with surface projections for universe. I believe many of us that are making our connections with these dragons are drawing through these positive, benevolent energies, the return of ancient dragons amongst us. As I have mentioned at the beginning, 
of Draco constellation with my personal experience. I feel that dragons in ancient time, beyond the galactic history, they are the guardians of the galaxy, most probably involved with the creations of many constellations and galaxies. They are related to archangels such as the Black Dragon of Archangel Michael, Red Dragon of Melchizedek, as well as connections with other constellations such as Orion, Sirius, and ancient civilizations like Isis from the ancient Egypt. The dragons have played a part in the history of the universe since the beginning. We see them sprinkled throughout ancient traditions, religions. Apart from the Chinese dragon example I mentioned before, the Na Nagas also held a place in the Hindu and Buddhist teaching. The Nagas in Hindu and Buddhist traditions are often depicted as serpent-like beings and are associated with water. They are considered guardians or keeper of secret knowledge and are believed to possess mystical powers. The symbolism of Nagas goes beyond their physical form and extends into the realm of spiritual and exoteric significance. In Hinduism, Nagas are often linked with various deities and they are believed to reside in underground realms, particularly in bodies of waters such as lakes and rivers. The Nagas are considered both divine and powerful and their association with water reinforces their connection to life and fertility. In Buddhist tradition, Nagas are often portrayed as protectors of the Buddha and his teachings. The story of Nagarjuna receiving secret knowledge during meditation at a lake is a notable example of the Nagas role as the bestower of hidden wisdom. This emphasizes the idea that Nagas are not only beings of physical existence, but also carriers of spiritual and transcendent knowledge. When a soul comes from the dragon realm, means the very first soul level incarnation at some point you were brought through as an energy by through the dragon coding. The beauty of the dragons is that they really come in and show us what is unconditional love. They are here to remind us on a huge scale how to open the heart and everything we do to work with them. It is through the dragon line of energy that all the energies between our human body, DNA, our light body, our soul, and Gaia, the nature, can be connected. The importance of the connection between the interdimensional dragons, the intergalactic dragons, and the elementals of the earth plane becomes apparent when we reach the level in our journey where we become conscious of the light body and are ready to anchor it fully into the physical dimensions of the earth plane. In various spiritual and mystical traditions, ley lines and energy lines on earth are sometimes referred to as dragon lines. These lines are believed to carry and transmit energy, connecting different sacred signs, power spots, or areas of spiritual significance. 
a transformative process where highest spiritual energies become fully integrated into one's earthly existence, the spiritual awakening and the pursuit of higher consciousness. As a draconian starseed, you are one of the most highly evolved of all starseeds. You are incredibly brave and have a strong sense of justice. You are also a natural leader and people are often drawn to your charisma and passion. Your mission on earth is to help others find their own path to enlightenment. You are a mentor and teacher and you use your wisdom and experience to guide others to their highest potential. Draconians are also known for their love of battle and quest for power. Many of them are drawn to the military or law enforcement. They are often tall and have a muscular build. They have a strong presence and can be quite intimidating. They may have green or blue eyes and a strong sense of intuition. Draconian starseed needs to embrace both aspects of their soul and find a balance between them. This is not always easy, but it is essential for their growth and development. The mission of the draconian starseed is to help humanity move from a state of fear and violence to love and compassion. They are here to help us to remember our divine nature and to awaken our heart. They often come into this life with a strong sense of purpose and they are not afraid to stand up for what they believe in. They are a powerful force for change and they can make a difference in the world. However, they must remember to balance their light and dark aspects or become lost in the darkness. It is up to them to choose which path they will take and make the world a better place for everyone. To summarize both sides of the Draco constellation and its possible effect in today's world, when there is darkness, the most effective way of eliminating the dark reptilians is by creating more light in this universe to the extent that their souls either will be infiltrated with it or they will live here to flee it from that possibility. Each of us starseed is one of those flames that illuminate our earth in all areas. Maybe that is part of the reasons we are so isolated and alone in our physical situations. Yet today, more than ever, with Pluto finally ingress into Aquarius for the next 20 years, we are already feeling the change is upon us. To many of us that have made our connections with the dragon energies, and I believe many more will come. Time of change is here, and I am so grateful to know many of you who are shining your light within and without with the dragon breath. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you find it interesting and resonant, if you want to know more of your natal chart or galactic astrology chart reading, please visit my website, becominglotus.org. You will find it in a brand new design and with new services. For any information and inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact me. It is always a pleasure to assist.
Thank you and see you next time.